Hey, thanks for watching Nevea Sanaya. This is one of my little tips for incubating. This little measuring cup came with a steam mop that I no longer have. And I have about eight to 10 inches of mule tape hanging out that's been done through the dishwasher several times. And when I first start off, I actually put hydrogen peroxide in it and clean out the humidifier so that it's also clean as well. And I hang it here so that it comes into the door and then this gets wet, push this down, and then gravity brings this down. The nice thing is, is that once all the chicks hatch, I'll bring that a little bit lower so it's about the height of an egg right there and water will come off and drip. I don't care if water comes down here to drip, but chicks will figure out that they can go over and get a drink of water while they're in there hatching. Now, during the hatching process, I will take the red cap and kind of shove it in here and close the little gray gate halfway and it'll maintain it at 30%. I've put a thermometer and humidity inside of it so that I know that it's still maintaining the correct temperature and the correct humidity. And this is with a Nutrite 360. Right now we're getting ready to hatch in three days. We just finished candling, which I can attach that video at the end of this so you can see it. But this is how I keep the humidity going the lazy way so I don't have to keep filling up one or two of these little things. These are my duds. I have six that are duds, six that are good. And all of these through here, including that one on my rooster roulettes. This one came from Frodo, who is a pure Swedish flower hen. And her mate is also a pure Swedish flower hen, but they free range, pasture range, cruise about two acres. So I wanna make sure, and I'm just curious to see if it will hatch as a pure Swedish flower hen or not. So looking forward to that. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment below. I love answering questions and I love educating people and helping people with just the simple things of hatching chickens. Thank you. Please for, do not forget to subscribe and like.